Hey guys, James here, aka Accurize, and uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the thousand subscribers. Um, it's it's been uh, a lot of fun doing these uh, silly little gaming videos for you guys. I'm glad that you guys have really enjoyed them, and um, yeah, it, it's been really nice. And I just wanted to say thank you, and I wanted to do something special for you guys. And in sort of keeping with the uh, theme of the channel, being a survival gaming channel, I wanted to uh, do something, uh, pay it forward help somebody out else out who really needs it so uh, I want really wanted to help somebody out in real life and uh, I figured that there's nobody else out there that we really owe our, uh, our gratitude and our thanks to more than a US service member so what I want to do is you know we give away our loot to, to help out Bambi's on the coast all the time and uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give away a little bit of our loot here and help out a service member by putting together a nice care package for them, let them know that, that uh, their efforts, um, while uh, uh, probably underappreciated most of the time and uh, maybe not recognized as much as it should, uh, it is definitely important to me and I, I hope uh, many of you. So let's go ahead and put this care package together. Um, I'm going to do this, I think what I'm going to do is every thousand subscribers we're going to put together a care package and uh, I'm using AnySoldier.com which is a site that put you in contact with a uh, member of a unit and that member of the unit is a liaison for what the unit needs, what a specific soldier needs, etc. Um, they'll put down a little, um, it's sort of like a, um, I don't know, how, how would you say, a uh, status update on, on this site and you can read about uh, how conditions are and, and what they're needing and uh, go from there. So I went on there and I found uh, Sergeant Jeffrey Hurt, U.S. Marine Corps, Afghanistan and uh, it says basically one of the things that they specifically wanted uh, snacks, games, movies, and other items that take their mind off, missi uh, off of missing home um, so that's what we're going to do now I work with a guy who uh, was stationed in Iraq and I was asking him, you know, I've never been in the military and I said, what, what type of things are you looking for? and that's, it's pretty much exactly what he said almost verbatim um, so yeah, Eric told me, you know, uh, basically anything takes your mind off of, of uh, where you're at and remind you of home. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put together a little bit of a uh, uh, care package here for Jeffrey Hurt and his uh, his crew out there serving us. And first thing we're going to do is we got ourselves our priority mail flat rate shipping box. So let's see here. Let's put this together. If I can if I can get it to fold properly. Here we go. First thing is you got to be smarter than the box. I think. There we go. All right. So we got our box. Very good. Um, oh, the other things that we have here for postage that my wife kindly helped out with. Um, thank you, Dawn. Was uh, we got she got me the box. She went to the post office while I was sleeping because I'm on like a night. I, I'm awake during the night. It's just, just my schedule, and uh, so I didn't have to wake up in the middle of uh, in the middle of the day and go out here. We got our customs form. Now I'm not going to torture you with filling it out right here. Yeah, that, look, that looks pretty nasty. So, can't do anything nice in this world without having to fill out a form and triplicate for the government. Got our packaging tape. All right, let's get into the good stuff here. So, now Jeff, uh, Jeff Hurt says uh, uh, they do have, um, let me see here, they have a freezer, outdoor grill, microwave, fridge. So, uh, I, I really keyed in on that outdoor grill part. Um, that comes with one of my items here. First thing we're getting them. Jolly Rangers. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Jolly Rangers. So, we'll take that. I guess they give those hard candies to um, the little kids, the little uh, kids that live in Afghanistan that they run into in the villages and whatnot. So, you know, they can either eat them themselves or, or hand them out to the little kids. It's awesome either way. The next thing is it's starting to get cold there from, from uh, what I understand. So, we got ourselves some hot cocoa. All right. Uh, next thing, let's see here. Now, I would have just gone nuts. I, I, I mean, I only had to go a few months without these, and uh, when the company shut down, and uh, I almost went crazy. But uh, I can't even imagine going a whole year without them. But we got some Twinkies, so we'll throw that in here. It's going to be like Tetris. So good thing that I'm pretty good at managing inventory, and I've had all that practice in game because I have a feeling I'm going to have to manipulate things around just to get it to fit in this box here. But we'll make it work. All right. Next thing is. Now, Eric told me that things that are good are, are things that you can carry in your cargo pockets and uh, on your ruck, so things that you can carry on the move. Uh, so if you're on patrol, things like that, you can grab and go. 
So we got themselves some trail mix. All right, next thing is, now hopefully <laughs> these don't get all bashed to pieces, but uh, I think they should be pretty secure, you know, whatever. Um, you could always, I guess you could combine it with, uh, with ice cream or something or just eat the crumbs, but Oreos. I love Oreos. So we're gonna get these in here. I'll probably put these in last and uh, try to figure out a way to protect those a little bit better. Um, so, and then we got some Pop-Tarts. You can eat those raw or, you know, toast them up. Either way is excellent. Inventory management, here we go. Oh man, it's paying off. Pop-Tarts and Twinkies fit in there perfect. I would lift it up to show you, but the bottom will fall out. So let's not do that. Then Eric wanted to contribute to the cause as soon as he heard what, uh, what I was doing. So he, uh, from his desk, he just like throws this at me. And uh, here we go. So this is his contribution. Some Folgers uh, uh, coffee, instant coffee. Throw that in there. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff, I think. This is like the, place, the, the things that I key in on straight away. Gotta have some beef and cheese. It's not, you can't get any more American than that. I mean, look, even, even the packaging has all American. That packaging right there has more American flag and more patriotism than our Winter Olympics uniforms do. So it's easier to identify. So, so there we go. All right. Man, this is actually fitting in here really well. So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, next thing, outdoor grill. Got to have the A1. Got to. Got to. I try using other steak sauces, man. It just doesn't work, you know. I mean, if you get a really good filet, you're gonna, you don't even need the steak sauce. But I have a feeling, you know what, they might be eating some shoe leather. So you need the A1 for that. And then if you're going to have any type of food, you got to have a little bit of Louisiana's signature sauce here, Tabasco. Oh, man, I am good at this. Uh, you know, if this was a Tetris uh, board right here, I would have got, like, all four lines to just disappear right now and got maximum points. So... Okay, what else we got here? Um, ah, this is more for like before you start eating, and I imagine here we go some disinfectant wipes. I'm guessing that uh, you know having uh, running water and soap and you know like your Yankee Candle Company type soaps and things like that probably isn't exactly uh, uh, realistic. And I'm guessing these these boys and girls get a little bit dirty from time to time, so throwing in some disinfectant wipes. Got to keep them healthy. Got to keep them healthy. And then, when it's all said and done, we can't have them running around with A1 Tabasco sauce, beef and cheese breath. Um, so, got to have your orbits. Oops, which way do we got to go? Got to go this way. <laughs> I'm rubbish at this camera work. All right, winter mint and cinnamon. There we go. And as an impulse buy at the counter, I figure, oh, one more thing. There we go. Reach the pieces. Starting to get cold there. I was a little worried about chocolate melting, but um, M&M's, which, you know, is basically the same thing as Reese's Pieces for the most part, um, as far as construct goes, uh, they were actually developed during the Spanish Civil War, and uh, they were they were made for the troops. They had, had a hard coating on them so that the chocolate wouldn't melt in the heat. So these are actually uh, Reese's Pieces, M&M's, candy born in wartime for soldiers. So there we go, some Reese's Pieces. And, uh, you know, impulse buy in the checkout line, everybody needs the AAA, or I should say the AA, AA batteries. Throw that in there. All right. So, we're putting that in here. Now I'm going to uh, show you guys what we got here as far as the, uh, the box here. I think this is going to be a, I'm going to try to move this here, do a little bit of fancy, fancy dynamic camera work here. But this is what we got. So things are looking pretty good in our world. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and package this up, get this all squared away, show you guys the uh, final result. Um, you know, I hope this guy, I hope this really um, is something that you guys uh, appreciate. Um, it's just my way of saying thank you. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, Sergeant Hurt and his crew is going to appreciate it as well. So thanks a lot for the number 1,000. See you here in a couple minutes. I'll show you the uh, final product here in about two seconds. All right, guys, got it all packaged up here, addressed, ready to go to Jeffrey Hurt. It's all sealed up. 
So, I think it feels pretty secure. Doesn't feel like there's a lot of movement going on in there. And uh, I'm gonna get this package uh, shipped out ASAP uh, so they can get they can get it and start enjoying it. Uh, but thanks for thanks for the support. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to uh, to do this for you guys. And uh, uh, Jeff Hurt and Yuri, and if you end up watching this video at all, then uh, thank you very much for your service. Greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'm not just speaking for myself saying that. So. Uh, get home safe, and uh, you guys stay sharp out there. Take care, guys.